everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shearer coming to you from IDS here in Cologne, Germany, looking at some of the latest te technology. And right now I'm here at the Nextent 3D Systems booth here talking a little bit about 3D printing with Sten. So Sten, real pleasure. Thank you so much for Thank inviting so me here much. to talk a little Love bit about your latest solution. Tell us a little bit about it. Absolutely. Well, great to have you. Thank you for coming by. What we have right here is a Nextent uh, 300, the Jetta Denture solution. Uh, it is a multi-material printer. Uh, focused completely on dentures. So it's a full denture printing solution where we print the both the base and the teeth at the same time to come out as a fully uh, fully ready to use denture from the printer. So essentially in other types of 3D printers that's more based upon DLP or stereolithography exactly. or like how I have in my practice the Next Dent 5100 uh, which is a continuous DLP, um, I have to print the teeth and the base as two different prints, right? Exactly. So one tooth colored and one pink colored, and then I have to join them together with glue. Do I have to do that with this printer? No, absolutely not. So we're printing both materials at the same time. Um, yeah, to deliver the direct uh, denture to the, to, the, to the patient. So when we were printing in the past on the DLP printers, indeed you have to do the separate material for the base and the separate, separate material for the teeth. Now it is important that both materials were developed with that specific intended use in mind. So the base material is optimized for impact strength and everything that a base needs to be uh, optimized for. And the teeth are hard, they're wear resistant, a nice shade, translucency. So it's very difficult to combine two different materials in one print process and that's where most Multi-Jet actually brings the solution. That's incredible. So imagine like this is in a dental laboratory or potentially in a large clinical environment. Um, tell me, like the multi-jetted technology, am I printing a single denture at a time or am I doing more than that? It is a batch processing, okay. so you have a bigger build platform that you're used to with your DLP dentures. We can fit up to uh, 18 dentures if you have a mixture of upper and lowers. In this case, what you will see later in the, in the video will be uh, 15 dentures, uh, all uppers, uh, that are positioned on the build platform, also using 3D Sprint and an automated workflow. So it just takes the operator five, six minutes to prepare the platform for print, and you have 15 to 18 dentures ready to, be, to get started. So then essentially walk me through the process. So I, I, I scan my patient, design it, or use an automated system, an AI system, et cetera. Exactly. All you need is what? The STL input of the base, the teeth, uh, preferably the monoblock, just to okay. make sure that everything stays together. Uh, and the design requirement is that the base and the teeth will have a zero gap, so that there is absolutely no gap, air gap, let's call it, between the teeth and the base, so that we can get a, a, a complete monolithic uh, build. Great, so then I print it, and then I can see here on the printer that it's got a little bit of like, almost what looks like to be kind of this opaque covering exactly. over the denture. What is that all about? That is just straight wax. And the beautiful thing about wax is that it melts away. So when you melt away the wax, your denture come out completely without support structures. There's no need to, to, to grind anything away. Everything is actually ready to go. You only need to wash it in an ultrasonic bed with some mineral oil, later on a soapy water bed, warm water bed, and your denture is actually ready. So there's no post curing and there is no alcohol-based IPA washing. So no gluing, no parts and joining all these things together? Really minimizing the labor time to almost zero. It takes about 20 minutes of manual touch time, moving the plate to the oven, the oven to the, to the uh, ultrasonic bath, and so on. And then as a last step, we do a wet bead blast to just prepare the surface so that you actually have the perfect surface structure to go into the patient's mouth and ready to polish the outer, uh, outer surface. Amazing. So Stan, I have to ask as well too, let me see the denture for a second. This is really very a very attractive denture as well. And this was printed on the Next Dent 300? Exactly, on the okay. Next Dent 300. And look at the translucency of the tooth material. That combined with a, a beautiful uh, tooth shape, the design with a lot of structure on it, it really comes to life. It really is an amazing, uh, an amazing denture. Cool, so this is a really cool looking machine as well, but you know, I'll hand this denture back to you as well. So I gotta ask here, Stan. So <laughs> I'm here in a trade show booth and all of a sudden I'm seeing what looks like to be a kitchen or a bathroom sink sitting over here. What's this all a about? sink. Well, Dr. Shear, what is the number one failure mode for your patients for their dentures? When do they break? Besides oh. when they eat a soft sandwich, is what they all say, right? But other or than mashed that, potatoes. what is the reality? Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Okay. Yes. Well, in all reality, I think, like especially when we look at it in our clinical practices, the patient, of course, it feels like it breaks when they eat something soft. But what in reality happens, at least this is a postulate, is they were chewing on something hard or crunchy the day before, the crack started, and then something soft squished it. But, but the, crack the started. sink, what's about the sink? Where did the crack start? 
usually when the patient removes the denture and drops it into the sink. You're so that's so your right. number one failure mode. Oh if my you gosh. Can, if you can find a solution for that, besides putting a towel in the sink or water in the sink, well, that's why we have the sink. I have some dentures oh in my, my hand and I will toss them into the... Oh, I missed a little bit, but look at these dentures. Oh my gosh! Not a single crack. So I see you're eager to throw some dentures into the sink. So here you go. Leave Are you it. serious? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited <laughs> right now. Ready? Well, you can do that from a, from a distance even. Wait a second. Step a few, no, no, few no. steps back. It's going to surely break if Absolutely I throw it from not. a distance. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, Stan. I'm now at the corner of the edge of the booth, okay? Absolutely. i got to be at least about eight feet away. Are you sure I can do this? The only pressure on here is your aim. <laughs> That's okay. all I'm worried Here about. Go, ready? That's all I'm worried about. There you go. That's one. I was close. Oh my That's gosh. One. For the record, let's look at it just to make sure to see if it broke. That's two. Hit it. Do I still do one more? But do I just got to One, one right, more ready? for fun. Okay. No now the scratch. proof is in the pudding. Let's take a look at the dentures. <laughs> Stan, this is incredible wait a second here i gotta look at this a little closer i don't see any fracture absolutely no i don't no, even we've been see doing a this chip. for four days <laughs> in the same sink with the, almost the same dentures. this so. is this is truly incredible a multi-jetted 3d printed denture next ant 300 i literally just tossed it probably six ten feet away into a porcelain sink really incredible no fracture Congratulations. What Thank a you so day. much for your visit. Thank you, Stan. Always appreciate it. Pleasure. Everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shear coming to you with another product update here at the IDS here in Cologne, Germany, today at the 3D Systems booth. Stay tuned for other videos.